absolute regard for Mikel Arteta's orders, weekly meetings with the coaches, leading team bonding exercises. Martin Odegaard has quite the job as captain of Arsenal. But first, we have to talk about how he got there. Martin Odegaard was a panic loan signing for Arsenal back in the January transfer window of 2021. But after half a season of proving to the Gunners why they should have paid the big bucks for him when he was 15 years old, they didn't mind paying the 40 million euros that Real Madrid wanted. At 22, Martin Odegaard was already a leader. The Norway national team looked up to him. He was loved in Holland and in Spain. And in Arsenal? His mates liked to listen to him. So young yet so bold, confident and with a good head on his shoulders. Mikel Arteta saw this in him and chose to reward him a few times by making him captain of the team for some of their games. And when the opportunity came to elect a new team captain, the lads were unanimous in their decision. Even Granit Xhaka, who would have been captain if they had not signed the young Norwegian, was glad to have Martin Odegaard wear the armband. But being captain of Arsenal is not a walk in the park. As we already know, Mikel Arteta is a football-mad human being. He lives, dreams, breathes, eats and even sleeps with football. His life is so engrossed in football that it's a wonder how he bagged such a hottie like Lorena Bernal. And for Mikel Arteta, who was a captain of Arsenal when he was an active player, playing football is a process. From when the player wakes up to what they eat and how they interact with other players and staff at the club, Mikel Arteta wants absolute focus and adherence to set rules. And his captain must take the lead. Martin Odegaard is a nice, likeable guy and a real leader who likes to bring his teammates together. But at Arsenal, he was a rookie. And if you've ever played sports, you know how rookies are treated in teams. Odegaard had to prove to his teammates that Mikel Arteta's rules were not insane and could be followed. And prove it he did. Now he's such a respected figure in the side, even among the coaches. Some fans even believe he has the potential to be as influential as Cesc Fabregas or Patrick Vieira. Mikel Arteta's first rule is punctuality. Arsenal players resume at the training ground at 9.45am every day. But Martin Odegaard, the captain, has to resume way earlier than the rest of his teammates. After he resumes, he meets with Mikel Arteta, who would have been at the training ground since 7.45am. Both of them would discuss the happenings of the weekend if there was a game, the day's training schedule, or any other matters arising. And then he would give the first team talk of the day before the coaches, led by Mikel Arteta, came to talk to them. Martin Odegaard also serves as the team's unofficial welfare officer. He has to report peculiarities to Mikel Arteta and the coaches during training and is responsible for making sure the team adheres to the club's rules while they are on the training ground. And most times, he's also the last to leave. Such huge responsibilities on such young shoulders. Luckily, there's some very broad and sturdy ones. Martin Odegaard is also the manager of the Wheel of Misfortune. Wait, it's not as bad as it sounds. In fact, it's a very playful way to keep the team in check for minor offences. Back in Manchester City, Pep Guardiola introduced the Wheel of Misfortune to keep players in check. The idea was taken from an old British TV game show called The Wheel of Fortune, where participants would spin a wheel and carry out challenges for a chance to win a prize. But for Pep Guardiola, the wheel had punishments instead of prize-winning challenges. And when Mikel Arteta got the Arsenal job, he copied the idea. Martin Odegaard is Mikel Arteta's hall monitor. This means he handles the wheel of misfortune. He also has the responsibility to keep it light and playful so that the team does not feel bad and instead understands that everything is to keep the team spirits up to maintain discipline. If a player was not listening or was distracted during team talks or arrived late for a team huddle or meeting, they get to spin the wheel of misfortune to get funny punishments for their tardiness. Cleaning the players' boots, cleaning the locker room, washing the coaches in the captain's cars, doing everyone's laundry. There is also a portion of the wheel tagged Lucky Escape. If the wheel stops on that portion, the player escapes punishment. These are the playful ways Mikel Arteta enforces discipline, and Martin Odegaard helps him enforce it. But for the young Norwegian, this poses a small but manageable problem. He cannot afford to have an off day. Being the captain and the hall monitor means you have to be up and doing. You cannot be caught unfresh. Imagine Martin Odegaard getting caught off guard and having to spin the wheel of misfortune for himself. Now, that would be counterintuitive, wouldn't it? Luckily for the team and for Mikel Arteta, he keeps the rules. Martin Odegaard has to keep on his toes every day of his life as long as he's Arsenal's captain because with Mikel Arteta, a captain's failure is unforgivable. Just ask Aubameyang. Martin Odegaard is young and mature. 
Like Endrick, who had to grow up quickly as a man and a footballer and now is a Real Madrid player. Click this video to know more about Endrick's story.